Hi folks, we've been doing a series of videos. Last week we showed a layout on how to make a 90 degree section of an I-beam and it's a detailed or a cope section and today I want to show you how to make those cuts. There's a series of cuts that I make to detail the flanges, cut the flanges back so that this thing will fit inside here at a 90 degree. Let's get to it. Okay, I'm getting ready to cut this beam. I already have my torch set. Uh, if you want to reference a video that we made on safe operations and setup of oxy fuel equipment, please do so. There'll be a link in the video. <clears throat> I want to, um, I'm, this is a short section of beam and I'm able to turn it and flip it around, which is kind of nice for in here. I want to make two cuts across here first and I'm going to use my little cheater bars and my guides. I want to cut these flanges and just pierce these. I may move across this one just a bit quicker because I want to I don't want to pierce into this web here. I may accidentally do that, but it's easily repairable. I'll show you what I'm talking about when we get into these cuts. So the first thing I want to do is go across the flanges. I've laid this out so that this is my length in here. This is how much the flanges are going to cut back. So I need to make two cuts across here, one for length, one for to get rid of this flange. So, and it doesn't matter which one I make first, I'm going to go ahead and start with this one here. So I need to get my safety gear on, light my torch, be right back. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and wear my sentinel hood set to a grind mode today for the dark shield. I'm also doing something a little bit different here. I've let, in, the, in the other series where we made the straight cut and squared up a beam, I cleaned all the mill scale off and everything. I'm gonna cut this one dirty. I'm just, it's just how the beam came in here. It's got the rust and mill scale on it. I laid it out over the top of it. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this one dirty. So you may see me checking my flame condition every now and then. If a piece of mill scale comes off and pops, which chances are it will, cause it always happens to me. I screw up in every video. Then it'll change this flame condition. You may see me stop and clean my tip, so. Anyway, we're gonna cut this one with the mill scale. I'm gonna light up for a neutral flame. Again, my pressures are set. This is a aught tip, I'm setting it. Six and 20. Six pounds of acetylene, 20, on the, 20, on, 20 to 25 on the oxygen. I have two pierce marks in here as my cut came through the flange. I pierced down into the web and through this radius. <clears throat> Sometimes they'll line up perfectly straight, but the main thing is before I continue on, I need to come in here and get rid of this stuff so that it doesn't disrupt my other cuts that I'm attempting to make. My next cut is to come in here and waste this flange piece. I may just bring it out square and since I'm gonna clean this up with a grinder, I may just do the radius 
to match this radius, I may just do that with the flapper wheel because it's going to happen pretty quick. But the main thing is I kind of need to clean up some of this slag and poo that's in here on my, on my beans. Okay, I need to carry on here. I've made my cuts down through my flanges. One of them would be the length. One of them would start my detail. What I personally like to do, what's worked best for me for accuracy, is to, and some of you may comment on this, that this is a, it's an unneeded step, but the problem that I've found is we have this radius in the beam, and sometimes those radiuses don't like to cut. I have the benefit that this is already kind of preheated. What I personally like to do is come in here and lay this down. This is a waste piece anyway. I like to lay this down and quickly snip that off and then I can come in over the top of it and it's like I can use part of that radius as a preheat edge and I can get accurate. I don't want a lot of slop in here. I don't want it to fit super tight, but I, you know, that would be an that would be accidentally great. But I like a little bit of gap in them. So I want to snip these in here first, then come over the top because this piece, this part that I'm getting ready to, this final cut is critical for dimension. Okay, I've gone ahead and trimmed the tabs of the flanges out of there. My pierce is lined up with my layout mark. I'm gonna set my little cheater in here and make this final cut and this piece will fall off and I'll be done. And that's that. Holy smoke. Put a straight edge on that. What? Who does that? Okay, now it's on to cleanup, which will be fairly quick. I'm going to use a flapper wheel. I'm going to take the web and detail it, and I'll go ahead and manually put the radius in there. We'll bring it back over and set it into this beam and see how it fits. Okay, here we go. I have this cut section. I had made two cuts across the flange. I came in here and I wasted the tab and then I de detailed cut this. As soon as it fell off, I'm thinking, man, I did something wrong. And I did. I messed up another video like I always do. 
Anyway, I, I ground this, clean this up and everything, and we'll set it up here for general shape and fit, and then I'll point out my boo-boo to you. Check this out. We've got some flanges that don't quite line up, but that's okay. We know how to bend those around. We're fitting here and here tight. We're fitting across the web into the, actually the two webs. Here's my boo-boo. Camera guy, you zoom in here. I've been cutting so many wide flange beams that I forgot to do this. This tapers out. This tapers out, so I have a little bit of an excess gap in there. My bad, my bad. I'm learning. I won't do the next one like that, I assure you. Anyway, for general shape and for laying it out and cutting it, we're, we're, we're right on, we're primo. I just forgot this angled tab in here. And that's, that's all about detailing beams. You know, you gotta, you got to, uh, you gotta get close with your, with your layout. You wanna be accurate with your cutting and then the rest of it is hand cut. I said that I was going to uh, radius those with the flapper wheel and I did and they took like seconds, it's no big deal. But you know, again, man, I messed up right there. I should have taken this, should have paid attention to this taper. It's real thick in the web section here and it comes out to a taper. I've left this cut alone. That is exactly how it came off and it's, I put a square on it and it's nice and straight. So we can clean this up and keep on going. I hope you found this educational. I certainly did. I made a mistake, my bad. And, uh, you know, we're going to do more of a series of how to do layouts and cuts and preempt into some projects. Thanks for watching Weld.com. Please subscribe to the channel. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you. You good with that?